position, and I okay. And I think we're just going to add a few rooms here, a few rooms there. Not quite. 2,800 tons of stone were hauled in to create the rock-solid foundations, lower walls, and fireplaces. More than 1,000 northern white cedar logs were stripped and used both inside and out. The walls are more than two feet thick and safeguard a total of eight bedrooms and ten baths, each more distinctive than the last. There's even a bunk room that will sleep up to ten. The original log cabin became the attached master suite. A master needs to be big. Why not use the, the house that's there specifically for the master bedroom? And that's what he did. A retreat unto itself. The suite has a separate sitting area and fireplace. But what really makes this home stand out are the details. A lot of the artistic features actually just kind of evolved as, as a went. Standard handrails simply wouldn't do. The banisters and woven limb railings were harvested from a cedar swamp. Local artisans stripped, dried, and hand-carved hundreds of them. You know, you're, you're, you're a hollow, you're like, oh, let's try this. Yeah, yeah, try that. Let's, let's do that. Let's do it bigger. The floors are made of Michigan-sourced slate, but the owner, clearly not a guy who gets cold feet, ordered that the floors be heated. The clients want that warm and fuzzy feel of an old-fashioned log cabin, but they demand today's technology to go with it. A smart home system controls the lighting, audio, security, and temperature. The sound system alone cost almost half a 